Also, I know y'all are in a little bit closer today. I did that on purpose because I know that in normal, my normal videos, I don't really have y'all up close, but today I wanted to do that. Um, if my foundation and my contour looks weird to you, just look past it because I am having one of those days. You ever had one of those days where it's just like nothing will go right? Either your contour is too dark and your powder is either too light or either your eyebrows just will not obey you that day. That is one of these days. So just bear with me. If you don't like it, I understand. Hey, it's one of those days. We all have them. But today, I just wanted to pick a palette or pick some palettes and just do like a random look with it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And um, yeah, keep watching. Today, I think I'm going to do much more of a like neutral type look with a very bold lip. It's probably going to be a black lip. And as y'all know, which y'all, if y'all don't, don't know yet, I love the color black. In a lot of my videos, you'll see me wearing a black top. I promise you, it's not the same top. I have over five different turtlenecks, and yes, I do know the difference. But yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I picked out two palettes for my collection today, which are these two. One is by Milani, and the other one is by Elf. Um, they're both neutral palettes, as I would say. This one is named Neutral, and this one is called The Bare Necessities. And these are like bare colors except for the few like sparkly colors in there but there are matte colors in there also which I think are very beautiful and I want to use this one as well because it does have colors in there that I would like to use I love matte colors and so yeah I think that's what I'm going to do today so let's get started Alright y'all, so we're going to start off with an eyeshadow base and I'm using the one by Essence I Heart Stage now, I know a lot of people like to use concealer as eyeshadow bases, and so do I, but today I just want to use this one. It has consistency of a concealer, but it is definitely an eyeshadow base. And I know that some eyeshadow bases have a name to it, like some of e.l.f. eyeshadow bases will say like shimmery or neutral. But this one does not have a name, it just says O-A-F, whatever that means. But I, I do like to use this for um, priming my eye for my eyeshadows, I do think that... Um, primer is very important when applying eyeshadow because a lot of eyeshadows they are very powdery and when you put it on without a, a primer it will be more of like I, have, I compare it to flour it'll just it'll be dust it'll be dusty but if you put it on with an eyeshadow base it will come off more pigmented than it would without one and it won't be as um powder so yeah this is the one that I do like to use a lot I will use concealer as I said sometime but today this is what I wanted to use I haven't used it for a while all I am going to do is set that base with a powder and instead of using one of the colors in the palette because I like to use more of a yellow tone like when I'm putting it on because that is almost the color of the um, eyeshadow base I will use a loose powder and this is a Sasha Buttercup setting powder I will use that for um, my eyebrow bone as well and I just put it on there and I know it looks like a lot it really does cuz it probably is you never know. but it probably is but uh, I'm going to dust this off with a bigger brush afterwards I just wanted to get that set and now I'm going to dust it off, or dust off the excess, as I should say. And now that all that is done and over with, I'm going to use my transitional color. Now in these palettes, in this palette, there is almost like an orange transitional color, but I do not use shimmery color for my transitional color. My transitional color has to be matte. And so I'm going to take my face powder that I use normally to contour it. It has a very good like orange undertone. I'm going to use that and dust that almost above the crease. And I'm going I like to bring mine down towards my nose so that way when someone looks at me it all blends in nicely. And I'm not going to go to the brow bone. I'm going to leave that bare for when, like I said before, I put my um, yellow setting powder on there and I'm going to do the same thing for the other eye but not too much though because I remember starting out I would put so much and it would look so bad 
It was just terrible. But yeah, we're going to blend that out. And one trick that I learned from Jacqueline Hill, that's my girl. I have been watching her for the longest time. I remember her saying to make almost like your brown bone more prominent or more, I would say your eye more cat shaped. You take your, your um, transitional powder or color and you like swish it out this way. And it makes it stand out even more as you can tell. So the same for the other eye. Like that. Okay. Now we're going to go in with a much darker color, which this is the way I like to do it. I like to take like a denser blending brush. I've had this brush ooh, ever since I started makeup. And I was like, was it 13, 14? I can't remember, but it was years ago in my book. But this is the brush that I will always use for my blending, especially my dark colors. So I'm going to take this color here, this dark brown color. And almost when I first got the powder, it almost looked like a red. And I was so excited, but I love dark browns too. I'm going to take that right up under that transition color. And we're going to blend it out even more with that bigger brush that we used for the transitional color so that it won't stand out so much. Don't mind my phone. Don't mind. Now that that's there, we're going to go back in. Oh, my God. Oh, Mama, please forgive me. We're going to go back in with that um, blending brush, and we're going to blend that right in with that transitional color. Because all things about makeup or one of the most important tips of makeup is blending. If you're putting on your foundation, if you're putting on your primer, if you're putting on your transitional color, it's all about blending. But if you do not like to blend, don't hear me saying, oh, well, you have to do it. Everybody expresses their, their self in makeup in different ways. Some people might like that harsh look. You never know. But this is just what I do. And the same with the other side, because that dark brown color is, is really pigmented. And if you don't blend it out, it will stand out. It will definitely stand out. Now I'm going to take a little bit more of that dark brown color. And instead of just right below where I put that transitional color, I'm going to put that brown right in my crease. And a tip that helped me out was I would stick the brush in and look up or look into the mirror and blend it back and forth because then I know that it is in my crease and not straight above where we put the transitional color. Put it in there. Same thing with the other side. Now, we're going to go back in and re-blend. I know it gets boring because it's just like blend, 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 blend. But that's how I like mine done. I'm going to go into this palette right here. I don't know if I want to do, because I know I said neutral, but I don't know if I want to do like a matte, like, color on the lid or do I want to do a spark? I'm not sure. How am I feeling today? We're going to go with sparkly. Okay, so I think I'm going to take, oh, I hope y'all can see this, this color right here and I'm going to put that on my lid. And this is a C brush by e.l.f. This is a very dense brush, I have to say, for a, it's almost like, it reminds me of a brush that you pack your eyeshadow on because it is very dense. So, yeah.
And I think this color, it does, it opens up your eyes a lot. Come through with these eyeshadows. Ew. Come through. And I really do love to put a lot of eyeshadow on my lid because that's just me. I'm just like that. I've always done that. Because I've always I've always wanted my eyes to stick out the most. Like I've I'm the type of person where if I do a neutral look, yes I might do neutral lips, but I do a bold lip too. But I am not afraid to do a bold eye and a bold lip. Because why just look at one? Look at my eyes and my lips too. Now that we have that on, I think we're going to take probably a darker shimmer color on, like, the outer part of the lid. And so, let's see. We're probably going to take this color. Yeah, that color. We're going to do that color. We're going to be adventurous today. Put that, like, on the outer part. And blend that in. Whenever you're doing like an eyeshadow look like this, like if there's going to be more than one color on the lid, on the lid alone, not on the crease, you have to blend. Because it will look weird. That's just what I do, like I've said before. And I will wing that out just a little. And the same thing for the other eye. And this color, it is, it's, it's almost grayish. What it does have purple in it. It's like purple sparkles. And I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to flatten it on my eye and go up and down on both sides. Now, we're going to go back in with that big fluffy brush and blend everything. Blend it all out. If you need to put more powder there to blend it out even more than do so. But I, I'm a rough blender. Because it's my eyes. I'm a rough blender. And I like to blend it out. Diffuse it, as I should say. Diffuse it out well. I'm going to go in with my um, Sasha Buttercup setting powder again, as I said before, and I'm going to set my brow bone and blend that into the transitional color also. I've, I have to say, just like for my transitional color, it goes the same thing for my brow bone. I just, I can't do it. I cannot put shimmery colors on my brow bone can't do it it has always looked bad on me now other people it looks great on it looks great on it but for me I, I just don't like it I just really don't like it now we're going to go into eyeliner and mascara so the eyeliner that I have this is by Amuse it's a brand called Amuse and it is the fine eyeliner it is waterproof and of course it is in black now if I go out of frame I'm so sorry but when I'm doing my eyeliner it is so crucial that I get it right because I will be thinking about it for the rest of the day and then I'll have to fix it. I know. I'm OCD when it comes to stuff like that.
Okay, I spent that whole entire part up. If I went out of frame, like I said before, I am so very sorry. When it comes to my eyeliner, I'm very particular. But as you can probably see, they are uneven. But you know what? I might even want to drive myself crazy about it, but it's okay. So we're going to move on to mascara. This is the Wet n Wild Max Volume Waterproof Hydrofuge Plus Mascara. That is a lot to say. It could have just said maximum volume. But this is what we're going to use today. And yeah. I really don't do much with my lashes except for put on false lashes because my natural eyelashes are so short. It is ridiculous. So I normally just let the um, false eyelashes do most of the work. Which they do a pretty good job. They do a pretty good job. Okay, I have already put on my eyelashes. These are the other lashes number 205 in dramatics as you can tell they are very dramatic and so I went on after that I put on some mascara I didn't think there was any reason for y'all to see me struggle with my eyelashes because I struggle with them every time I put them on so I decided to go ahead and do it and so now I'm going to put on the black lipstick this is lime crime lipstick in black velvet now I didn't know there was a thing going on with lime crime until after I bought it and then I saw all these videos and I was like lord have mercy but i do like their cosmetics this one is very good so i really don't go in with a liner i will go in with a black lipstick under it but today let's be a rebel let's just put it on Alright y'all, now I almost forgot, we will be doing the bottom waterline. I will be taking this LA Color Jumbo Eye Pencil. This is just in black. Yeah, it's the black color, but the name of it is Sunglasses, so. We're just going to put that on the waterline. I say if you're going to go black, go all the way. And we can either, you can take it all the way under. I like to take it all the way under. You don't have to, but I like to. It makes it even more dramatic. And so yeah, that is it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the look. This is my first almost like chit chat, get ready with me or chit chat just do my makeup randomly day so that's what i wanted to do today um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos like this then comment in the section below if you want to see more videos of me just being quiet because you're probably tired of my voice comment in the section in the comment section below i'll be perfectly fine with that but um yeah i'm thinking about doing voiceovers also i have one video where i did a voiceover i really didn't like it that much but why take it down when it's already up but yeah if you guys want videos like that comment in the comment section below and I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.